Hello my fellow pet lovers, welcome to yet another episode of Rafiki Po. My name is Anita Waidera and today we are in one of the coolest places in Nairobi. In this episode you get to see how certain dogs are trained in terms of drug and explosive detection and how to bridge that communication between humans and dogs. Stay tuned guys. Good morning, my name is Ivan Sodundo. I'm a canine handler trainer by profession for the past seven years yeah currently i work with diplomatic protective services i'm their lead dog trainer um, we do everything from security dog deployments sentry and patrol and detection services um, all this is done at our controlled training facility so today i want to gladly welcome you guys all to my day in the life or the diaries of a dog handler. So keep it tuned, keep it locked. I hope you enjoy everything. God bless. It's very essential that the handler and the dog form a very strong bond. This is what will count out when these two guys are operational. Because one, it's, they're going to be rely upon each other in the task they work upon. So the handler should correctly predict the dog. Same to the dog should correctly predict the, the handler. So in this case, dog is very motivated because what? One, he knows that we are out. We want to go and train and have a workout. So every day, this is what the dog looks like in any given situation. Be it in the mall, be it in the parking lot, be it in the jam when you are conducting some searches anywhere. So I would like and would always want my dog to be always with me. So I'll do several de demonstrations which I'll task the dog in different activities. One, I'll put him up for the tires. Two, I'll give him some retrieval exercise. And three, I'm just going to do a basic heel walk off the lead with the dog. So as we progress, can you just stay in touch with us? Let's go. Let's come. Heel. Good lad. Come on, let's go. Come. Let's go. Okay, we'll come here. Come here. Let's go. Good boy. Sit. Becca, come here. Sit. Good boy. Let's go. Hi. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Heel. Becca, come here. Fuss. Fuss. Good. Sit. Good boy. Thank you. It's very essential that the handler and the dog get to know each other and they get to know each other. Key human canine bond. Vec, you're done. Okay. You can see, he's, he's bringing it back and drop. And he wants the task to go on and on. And this is what actually makes that dog to be a very good candidate for the security work. Because it's a dog that will be tasked to, to do a given task over and over and over and over and over and over again, without the dog getting tired. So this is just a good example. So if we are to go such a place, yeah, it's a continuous repetitive exercise because if it's the bugs, if it's the house, if it's the cars, it's more or less the same thing, but the environment is what changes, but the dog constantly continues to work. Yeah, and there it comes again, good boy. You can see he brings it back and wants to go again. Um, Apart from that, it's the energy levels in the dog, which you can see, this is a Belgian Malinois. Um, this dog is exceptional because of its energy levels. It's smart, it's, um, um, it's, its size, you can see the size. The size is actually very, very uh, commensurate to the handler because in some given tasks, you can be tasked to carry your dog, yeah? So the size is very okay. Um, the energy levels, as I've said, um, the smart, and the intelligence that comes with the dog. 
So as they say, other dogs operate on diesel, but the dog you see here operates on a nuclear energy. Yeah, so it never gets tired, it never gets bored. It's only the handler which can bring the, the dog down. So if I'm looking for a security dog, I look for a dog who is friendly, right? Yes, friendly. He has very good rapport with his environment, can be very stable, yeah? The dog should be able to trust me as, as a partner, and I'm also supposed to be able to trust the dog as my partner. So the ability of the dog to work very keenly on focus and to work in conjunction with the handler makes the team a very effective tool to be used in various activities that we might require. So it's very essential that when we are managing our canines that our, we have very good controls of our dogs. So in this case what I want to demonstrate here is the level of control of obedience that we have in our dogs. So as you can see this is a kennel setup. So I really encourage everyone at home or other dog breeders that if you're breeding your dogs kindly, please ensure that you start training your dogs from the kennel area. It's very essential because for us as a security team, if I'm not, being, if I'm not able to control my dog, then I cannot be able to deploy the dog. So in these given exercises, as you'll see, I'm going to task the dogs. All dogs here are comfortable working with me and they are comfortable working under different cues. Moose, come. Mm. Come here, come here, boy. Hey, come here. Sit. Good boy. Stay. Go in. Good boy. So, it has to be an easy affair between the kennel, out, in, out, in, something that every dog should be able to do at ease. So, that's case number one. We want to train most. So I'll still go to Vex house. Stay. As you can see, dogs have very, very, very good levels of obedience, yeah? So we don't not only task Vex in. Let's go in. Stay. So we have to be ensure that the dog understands that it's not the door which holds him back but it's the cue that gets him out or in to the kennel. So that's just uh, something that I wanted everyone to understand, that it's very key that as we start the development training of our dogs, we need to start this at the kennel levels. If it's a puppy, start from the crate going up. In this case, the dogs are grown, and as you can see, these are kennel setups. All dogs are comfortable. They work very easy with themselves. They don't, they understand that it's not the door that helps Holds them back in there, but it's actually the cue. Moose stay. So I'll just stay with the dogs this way. And as you can see, dog won't move out, but I can just task him out in, out in, out in. It's very, it's very, it's very, very essential for us as a safety precautionary and the management of our kennels. Moose come. Oh bravo boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sit. Stay. Moose. Sit, boy. Sit. Stay. In. So as you can see, the dog is ready, geared up to, to go and and start his daily routine morning activity. So I'm going to get him out, do several runs with him, get him back in. So if you're ready, we're going to move out. Moose! So in this case, I'm just going to task the dog with different, different challenges. Which, might be, which we might encounter. I'll do a sit, stay, sit, stay, come, sit, stay. I let him go out, retrieve, then come back. Hey. 
Down. Yeah. Down. Down. Stay. Muss Fuß! Fuß! Komm her, Fuß! Sit! Stay! Stay! Down! Gut! Hab it! Between. Go between. Go between most. Good. Down. Good. Back. Okay. Okay. Down. Go down. Down. Stay. That's all for today guys. I hope you've learned a lot. Um, I also learned a lot. I had fun shooting this particular episode. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and please ring that notification bell. Don't worry guys, part two is coming on Saturday, so stay tuned. Bye!